<laughs> is it too late to talk about this series? Well, too bad, because I'm talking about it anyways. Hello, everybody. I am Phenom Sage, and welcome to my first impressions video on the series Banana Fish. A few of you have been asking me to talk about this series, and this has been a series that I've been meaning to talk about for ages at this point, but just never had the time when the episodes were airing, and ultimately decided on the off chance that the show continued to maintain its quality from the early episodes, and these episodes stayed as good as they were, I would talk about it in the future. Well, as the episodes went by, the quality was not only being maintained, but it was actually increasing. And that's when I knew that I not only had to talk about this series and recommend it to you guys, but that I had to do my best to cover it week by week. Yep, that's right, I will be reviewing Banana Fish every Thursday when the episodes go up. Assuming Amazon doesn't screw up like they did this week, and I will be starting next week, next Thursday, with a review of episode 5. This video in particular will not have spoilers, so if you're looking to jump on board this series, feel free to watch and let me try to express why I'm enjoying Banana Fish so goddamn much. Banana Fish stars are two main characters, Ash and Eiji. Eiji, a photographer who's visiting America and has been roped into a mafia conspiracy involving a drug called Banana Fish. And Ash, the center of this conspiracy, whose brother was inflicted by this drug and is doing what he can to learn what it is and how he can turn his brother back to normal. What immediately struck me about this series and the way that the story has unfolded is how mature it is. And not mature in the way where you'd say, wow, they're talking about sex and said a bad word, or ooh, that's a lot of blood and violence. I mean mature in the way that this feels like a story written for adults. This is especially evident in its thematic material and its dialogue. This is categorized as a shoujo, and as many have tirelessly pointed out at this point, this does have BL or yaoi elements. And I've seen a few people let that turn them away from this series, but please, for the love of God, do not pass up a series this good because of something like that. The yaoi elements that I've seen throughout the story thus far have all been so tastefully instilled into the scenes. It's not the focus, it's not overbearing, it's just something that's natural to this story and these characters. And these preconceived notions and this idea of, oh my god, these two boys like each other, just becomes entirely irrelevant. And you start looking at it as, wow, the way these two characters are slowly forming a bond and a connection with one another is so well done. And this is another area where Banana Fish has been excelling so far. Having a a large cast of compelling characters in the sense that they don't feel like archetypes they don't feel like characters you come up with in an afternoon ash ag max dino arthur they all feel like complex personalities that more or less have a reason for doing the things that they're doing and those reasons are buried deep within their psyche my personal favorite character at the moment would have to be max without giving any spoilers or plot events away, the way that he's developed over the measly two episodes that we've known him is ridiculous and shows this writer's capability for writing sympathetic and most importantly dynamic characters. People who are constantly changing due to the situations that they find themselves put in. Speaking of changing and the situations characters find themselves in, I have to talk about the pacing of these episodes. And I don't usually talk about pacing unless it's a bad thing, since if something has good pacing, you generally don't notice it. But in these episodes, I notice it in a good way. There's something about Banana Fish episodes that feel absolutely packed full of content. We're moving from scene to scene, event to event, and by the time I reached the end of these events, it felt like I had just watched a 40 minute episode, despite it being the same usual 20 minute length. That's not to say that anything in the series has felt rushed, far from it, but I think it does show the author's ability to create scenes flowing into each other 
that all feel like big events. So when you sit through like five big events within a single episode, it gives the impression that you watched a longer episode than you actually did. Just because all of these grand and huge game changing moments have happened all within the span of 20 minutes. On a technical level, this series also impresses in pretty much everything. Studio Mappa is delivering a very crisp and polished looking series with gorgeous backgrounds and the general aesthetic really selling you on this location in New York City. All of the VAs are top notch as expected and there is an incredible use of soundtrack, one that stays in the background when it needs to, but also jumps to the forefront during tense or dramatic scenes. Banana Fish has continued to get better and better with every episode, and next week when I release my episode 5 review, I'll hopefully be able to go into specifics on why this show just keeps surprising me and surpassing my expectations. Despite my high praise though, believe it or not, I wasn't completely in after the first episode. It took until episode 2 for me to realize just how much I'm loving this series. Not to say that episode 1 is bad or anything, it's still a great episode. It just feels like more of a build up episode for all of the insanity that comes afterwards. So if you plan on checking out this series, I would say get to the end of episode 2 to see if you're really digging it or not. But that has been all from me for this Banana Fish first impressions video. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you've been keeping up with Banana Fish, let me know how you're liking it in the comments below. And if you decide to check out the series because of this video, please let me know what you think of it. And if you enjoyed anything I had to say here, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video. Make sure to subscribe to catch my Banana Fish episode reviews every week, as well as my other anime content in the future. And if you want a place to talk or ask me something, anything elsewhere, check out my Twitter or the Discord server as I am always hanging out on there and talking to other people. Links will be in the description. and. And of course, as usual, have a great day.